I just recently had a few people comment on writing algebra word problems and solving equations by writing an equation using a variable. So here's a real quick video for those people. So there might be a word problem like there are eight people living in two apartments and there are two more people living in one apartment than the other. How many people live in each apartment? So what we're going to do is, to write the equation to solve this, we're going to let A equal apartment. So we're going to have an apartment, a first one. We're going to add to it an apartment that has two more people, so that's going to be an A plus 2. So we're pretty much saying, this is the first apartment, this is the second apartment, and we know that there are eight people living in both apartments, so we're going to set it to equal 8. Now, we can rewrite this equation. If we take away these parentheses, we've got an a plus an a plus a 2. So what we've got is 2a plus 2 is equal to 8. And what we can do is take away this 2 from both sides of the equation. So we can do a minus 2 and a minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 makes a 0 pair, so we've eliminated that. So now all we have is 2a is equal to 8 minus 2 is 6. And now what we do is, because we've got a 2a here, and that's 2 times some number a, the inverse operation to solve this would be dividing. Because that's a multiplication, we would divide by 2 to both sides of the equal sign. Same numerator and denominator gives us a 1, so that means we have an a that is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3. And if a is equal to 3, then a plus 2 is equal to 5. Oops. And we know there's 8 people all together in the two apartments. One apartment has 3, the other one has 5. Let's try another one. And there are 17 books in two stacks, and the second stack has three more books than the first stack. So how many books are in each stack? So we're going to let S equal stack. We know there's 17 in all, one has three more. So we've got S for stack, plus a stack with three more, so that's S plus three. We can group the two S's together to be 2s. Now we have 2s plus 3. We know there's 17 books. Whoops. So the whole thing equals 17. Now what we can do is make a zero pair with this 3 and we can take away the 3 from each side of the equal sign. That's going to give us a 2s. We canceled that out by doing plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 14. And now, because this means multiplication, 2 times some number s, the inverse operation would be division. So we would divide by 2 to isolate that s. To, we would divide by 2 on both sides of the equal sign. That's going to give us the same numerator and denominator, so it's 1s is equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7. So if s is equal to 7, then s plus 3 is equal to 10. And 7 plus 10 is 17, so we know we did it correctly. Let's try another one with subtraction. There are 45 students in two classrooms. There are three fewer students in one classroom than the other. So how many students are in each classroom? So we know we can use C for classroom. So we have C plus a C minus 3. So here's one classroom. Here's the classroom that has three fewer. We can also write it as c minus 3 plus c. It doesn't matter. But this might be easier for us to put the two c's together. So we can put them together and get 2c minus 3. And we know it was equal to 45. There were 45 students in two classrooms. To get rid of this minus 3, we do plus 3 to make a 0 pair. 
we do it to both sides of the equal sign, we have to be fair and do whatever we do to this side, we have to do to that side of the equal sign. Now we've got 2c. We made a zero pair, so that's gone. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. And it's equal to 48. And now, because this means multiplication, 2 times some number c, we can use the inverse of multiplication, which is division, to isolate c. We have to do it to that side of the equal sign also. And we get that c is equal to 48 divided by 2, which is 24. So if c is equal to 24, then c minus 3 is equal to 21. If we add these together, we get 45. Sorry, I'm so messy. And it is 45. So we know one classroom has 24, the other one has 21. Let's try one with multiplication. A shelter has 40 dogs and cats. And there's three times as many dogs as there are cats. How many of each are there? So we're not going to use a different variable for dogs and different variable for cats. We want to use the same variable. Just like we did with the two classrooms, we had C for classroom, but then another classroom had three less, so we did C minus three for the other classroom. So we're going to let the A equal the animals. So we have dogs and cats. We're going to have cats as A plus three times as many dogs, so that's going to be three times A, so it's 3A. And we know there's 40 in all, so a plus 3a is equal to 40. Now, because we have an a plus 3a's, that means we have 4a's in all. And it's equal to 40 animals. Now, because 4a means 4 times some number a, we can divide both sides of the equal sign by this coefficient 4, to isolate a to this side, we have same numerator and denominator, so 4 fourths is a 1, so that means we have 1a, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. We know a is equal to 10. If a is equal to 10, then 3 times a must be 3 times 10, which is 30. And if we add these together, we get 40 animals, so we know we did it correctly. So when you have problems like this, the key is to use the same variable and add the amount, like two more people, so that would be the same variable, but plus two. Then combine those variables, like 2a, then use an inverse operation to isolate the variable and coefficient to one side. Then, if you've got multiplication like this as 2 times some number a, use division to isolate the variable to one side, then you know what a is. Then you can just figure out what a plus 2 is. See? So I hope this was helpful and I hope this answered your questions over the last couple days that everyone's been asking me. I'll see you next time. Bye.